everyone welcome back to my channel this is the public school teacher in this video i am going to show you how to generate a google meet link both using a g suite account and a personal google account but before i'll continue please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel by clicking the red button here to be updated of the latest from the public school teacher now let's start. Now I have here my personal G, G, my pers uh, my cl Google Classroom using my personal using my G Suite account. Okay, and I also have here my Google Classroom using my personal Google account. Now, if I'm going to compare the two, remember that this is my personal my G Suite account. G Suite Prefer Education account, rather, and this one is my personal Google account. Now, what is the difference between using a G Suite account in Google Classroom and a personal Google account? Now, there are actually some differences, but one of the things that is relative among these two is the generation of a Google Meet link for an online video conference with the students. Let me just enter my class. So here is my G Suite, my Google Classroom using a G Suite account. And if I click this one, this is also a class in my Google Classroom that I created using my personal Google account. Now, if you see in my classroom using my G Suite for Education account, I can easily generate a Google Meet link for video conference and online classes through the header. Okay, so you can see here Meet link. And if I click that one, generate Meet link, immediately, uh, either generate Meet link, immediately, this will be this can be accessed now, <coughs> excuse me, this can now be accessed by the students. So every time um, you want to have a video conference with your students or you want to have an online class with them, they simply, they simply go to this link for the video conference. Now, if you take a look at the classroom that I created using my personal Google account, there is no such thing as a meet link here in the header. That's one of the th things that is, uh, what, that is one of the disadvantages of using a personal Google account in creating or in using a Google, a Google Classroom. So, but there is actually a, an alternative option on that if you still want to do a video conference or an online synchronous online class with your students. So again, in using your G Suite for Education account, it's very simple because it's in the header. But for personal Google account, there's an alternative for it because you cannot generate a link here. So what we do if we're using a personal Google account is we use our Google Drive a Google Calendar, rather, Google Calendar in our Google Classroom. So how do you do that? We go to Classwork tab. And as you can see here, there's a Google Calendar here. You just simply click that one, and a new window of Google Calendar will open. Now, what do you do next is, of course, you need to create, create an event, for example, class, uh, online class, online class, number one. And then as you can see here, you have here add Google Meet video conferencing. You just simply click that one and a Google Meet link will be generated. Now, if you're using a personal Google account, you can actually add up to 100 participants in one Google Meet. So here you, you set the date, for example, the date and time when you're going to meet or do the video conference. 
and then you can also add description or attachments so let's say I will put here this will be this will be our first online class be ready something like that and then as you can see here there are two ways to share this um, Google Meet link first is you can actually add your guests here that means you can add the emails of your students so for example if you have a spreadsheet containing the emails of your students you can just simply copy and paste the email from there or you can type the email of your students one by one up to you and then you can another way to do it is to copy the link here that was generated in your google calendar copy this one and then you go back to your google classroom and then post it in your stream for example you will say um, we will have our online class today at what's the time that it's at 12 p.m uh, click click this link for the online class something like that and then copy it so now the students will be and then click post. Now the students will know where to go um, during this time. So at least you are still able to do a video conference or an online class to your students in the classroom that you created. That's it. Then you go back and then just click save. And now this will be uh, posted on your um, Google Calendar and you will also be reminded like 30 minutes before or you will be emailed 30 minutes before the time and if you also added the emails of your students here they all they will also be reminded in their emails and they will also or they will also be reminded in their Google Calendars so, so that's how um, you can generate a meet link or share a meet link with students in your Google Classroom using if you're using your personal Google account. That's it. Again, this is the public school teacher. I hope you learned something today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time.